Hello guys, I just wanted to uh, make a quick video here to show you uh, what's involved in uh, this transformer here, the 240 volt Bitcoin miner power supply. And uh, this is the completed unit. Uh, so this is what's involved in one of these units. Uh, that one there is made of 16 gauge wire. And uh, the other one, the original one of these, was made of 16 gauge. Uh, I went down to 14 gauge and it increased my output. So I'm building this of 14 gauge, the original 16. I'm, I'm replicating my original now in 14 gauge and to see if I will gain more amperage. I suspect I will. So I wanted to go through the coil so everybody can see exactly what's involved in one of these coils. There's nothing um, uh, too much other than a lot of crazy glue. Uh, you know, get 10 or 15 tubes if you're going to build some of these. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'm disclosing everything about the device here. Uh, public, anybody can build these. Uh, if you want to buy them from me, uh, you can. If you want to build it yourself, you can do that too. I'm going to give you all the information. Okay, so this is your first coil. This gets a resonant tank circuit hooked up across these two. It doesn't get loaded. This is a very critical part in the operation of the device. Without this, it will not run on 300 watts. It won't even hardly run on 700 watts without this coil. Uh, loaded with even only half the load. So uh, this is a critical part. What this does, there's no load that goes on this. The capacitor tank goes on here and uh, what that does is it, it resonates and it, the field created within this field pushes these fields in resonance. And so there's a much stronger coupling with and without this coil. So very, very important coil. Um, first coil of the stack. First thing that goes on is you put them all on here. They all go on just one after another. They're all wound in the same exact direction. It's uh, really, really simple. Even the wiring is, is extremely simple. It's, it's, none of this is difficult. I will uh, release a finished uh, wiring diagram. Uh, it'd probably be tomorrow, maybe the next day that I get that uh, released public for everybody. Half the diagram is up now, uh, but the other uh, configuration of the caps isn't up. If, uh, if you're following my work, uh, I've already explained what I've done in one of the videos. But uh, anyways, they go on here like this. All those wires come out the center, and that's it. And basically from there, they get stacked all in sequence. Uh, they'll get realigned so that uh, the wires correspond properly on the output and uh, on the center and then they'll get all wired and glued together in the five stack there and this will get configured into 240 volt dual feed output and that's it i i got another uh pile of capacitors came in so we'll uh put all the capacitance matching on there and uh go from there so a couple of them would go there i may try and uh, add some more here too See if I can improve the outfit on the second unit. And uh, a couple more caps there, and that's basically uh, that's basically a machine. Um, these two would go together on a center tap, and these two go independently center tapped on the first pair of pancakes. So, uh, that, yeah, that's it. Nothing more to it. And you end up with this, and the output uh, on full power is, is beyond six, six kilowatts. Um, but I'm rating these at the 300 watt input, at the pulsed input versus the pulsed output uh, seen uh, visually by the watts drawn on the load. All right, so just a short video showing you what's involved in the system. Again, I sell these at 450 complete, tested, certified, made by me, 100% working, and uh, $50 shipping. So 500 US each, all said and done right from my hands, the inventor, to your hands, the user. You guys have a great day, and if you need them, you know what to do. Send me an email, willybigwheelyahoo.ca. Ciao.